All right, BC, what's going on? Uh, it's Chris. Uh, obviously, you're here. I uh, just thought I'd come in and make a video. It's been a little bit. I've been preoccupied with my Dodgers, but uh, as uh, a lot of you probably know, they're out now. Um, not a good day, really, but uh, music's kind of getting my mind off of it, so it is what it is, you know. Tough loss on the next year. A lot of thoughts about it, but I know this ain't a Dodgers uh, rant group, so uh, we show music. And hopefully, uh, yeah, anyways, hope everyone's doing good. Um, all these records are going to be from an estate sale I went to probably about, I don't know, three weeks ago or so. Um, I've been to several with this uh, estate sale group. When you start going to a bunch, you kind of start, um, you know, having select ones that you know how they're going to set it up, how much the pricing is. You know, this specific one, they always have a bunch of records that are just uh, $3, which all these are $3. And then they have uh, separate ones that are like always way overpriced. Um, but so I always go straight, everyone else always goes for the expensive ones because they see like the Beatles and stuff. So they think those are like all the good ones. Well. To me, all these are the good ones because they, you know, the people that price these really don't know what they are, and that's usually what I like. So, um, yeah. So we'll start off with uh, these were all three dollars again, and Tabor Zabo. Oops, I got that on backwards. But this is a Spellbinder. That's what we're listening to right now. It's kind of like a Latin type jazz to it. Um, yeah, I love Gabor Zabo. Uh, start, it's kind of like a, I don't want to say like a trendy name right now, but uh, he is becoming more popular, it seems like. Obviously on the Impulse label. You can't see it, but it's uh, original stereo pressing. Um, yeah, just kind of really dig it, you know? Oh, in this video, I'm going to try to do some more needle drops. I haven't done that for a while, and I want to get back to doing it. Uh, next, John Coltrane, Wilbur, Har Wilbur Hardin. Countdown, the Savoy Sessions. Now, I believe uh, some of these were on Tanganyika Strut, or is that how you say it? Tanganyika? Or, uh, that's why I kind of wanted this. Um, it says, uh, Louis Harden, John Coltrane, Tommy Flanagan, Doug Watkins, and Louis Hayes from 1958. So, good stuff. A couple of these were... Uh, unissued before the rest of them were on that Tanganyika strut, I think. Uh, it's a gatefold. Oh, i got to take it out right now, but uh, anything with John Coltrane is obviously good. Next, Big Want. Um, I have the Shirelle's Greatest Hits on Scepter. The, uh, I think it says, you know, just the writing Shirelle's Greatest Hits. Uh, but this album I've been wanting for a long time. I couldn't believe it. Um, had some like tape, you know, that old tape that kind of like frays old, a lot of the uh, older albums came with, but uh, I did some work on it. Um, you can see some of it came off clean, but just you know, been on there so long, kind of left a stain almost. But such a terrific, terrific album. The Shirelles, right up there with the Ronettes for me, um, with girl groups from the 50s. Um, just I mean, tonight's the night. Um, Will you love me tomorrow? Uh, dedicated to the one I love. I mean, holy freaking smokes! This album is full of hits, and I love it. I can't get enough of it. I think I've listened to that like four times. Uh, next one is a uh, later uh, album from this gentleman. Uh, not sure what year this was. But, uh, yeah, Freddie Hubbard, Backlash. This is when he went over to Atlantic. Uh, I think it's probably like a late 70s, early 80s album, I want to say. Um, it's okay. Um, not my favorite from him, obviously. His Blue Note period is my favorite. Um, but it's decent. Who the players on here real quick. Uh, Albert Daly, Otis Ray Appleton, Bob Cunningham, James Spaulding. Uh, probably the only name you guys might know is uh, Ray Barreto. Um, doing a little bit of congas and stuff. But uh, I think I'm going to give you just the title track, Backlash. Um, 
yeah, see what you guys think. Uh, let me know. So that was uh, Freddy Hubbard. Um, not too bad, right? Next, uh, at first I thought this was going to be an original press, uh, but then I noticed uh, it's a Japanese repress and uh, it's Clifford Brown All Stars. But for three bucks, can't beat it. Um, I didn't have this one in my collection, so this will, uh, yeah, this will do me over for a while until I get it. Decent, uh, decent, you know, recording. Uh, even though it's a cheap Japanese repress, um, it's still, you know, still pretty good. So sounds great. And Clifford Brown, very underrated player. And uh, another one that, uh, yeah, don't really see very often his stuff on this uh, Capitol label. But this is a uh, Cannibal Idly Quintet. Mercy, 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 live at the club. Uh, trying to see who's on here with him. It's weird, Capital didn't do a very good job of like, uh, you know, listing all the musicians. You kind of have to like read through the, and I don't really feel like doing that right now. So uh, yeah, great album. This is live at, uh, what club is this? Not sure, but I uh, love that Capital Rainbow label. Um, Cannonball is always, I don't know, is that, Cannonball is usually never great except for, you know, select few albums, but they're always good, you know what I mean? They're not always great, but they're always good, so, um, very enjoyable. Uh, next one, The Best Impressions, Curtis, Sam, and Fred has some of their hits on here, uh, Amen, Keep On Pushing, Gypsy Woman, uh, Fool For You. Yeah, any impressions I see, I pick up. I'm a sucker. My son, uh, Curtum. Obviously, Curtis Mayfield. Love him. Um, just like this next artist, um, anything I see from the, I did not have. The only album I had from this guy was, uh, I think, his live album. And that was really beat up. And I just got a new copy of that as well. So, this is his first album. Donny Hathaway, Everything is Everything. Just terrific music. Nice cool cover there. Great soul music. Keep, and that was his first album. This is his uh, third solo album. This is Donny Hathaway, Extension of a Man. Cool, cool picture on the inside there. Uh, just more great Donny Hathaway soul music. Just an artist I see, I pick up every single time. And this one is his second album. Um, and of the three, probably my favorite. Well, his first album is really good, but this one, um, probably one of my favorites. This is just self-titled. Uh, these are all on Echo, by the way. Pictures of him uh, recording, it looks like. Uh, but I'm gonna give you a little track off here just to sing in his beautiful. Man, I just love soul music, you know? Uh, but I'm gonna give you just the first side, first song, uh, Giving Up. So let me know what you think.
So yeah, Donny Hathaway, always great. Uh, I think I only need his uh, duet album right before, right after that one, and I think I have his whole discography. So that's kind of cool. Uh, next one, I haven't really seen this one too often. I think I saw it one other time. This is BB uh, King and Bobby Bland together again live. There's the other side. Kind of. One on one side and one on the other. Yeah, great stuff. Um, I wasn't really expecting a whole lot out of it, but uh, yeah, it was very, very cool. Um, 1976. I'm not sure where this was recorded at. Uh, but uh, yeah, they do Thrills Gone on there and stuff, so very, very cool blues um, with a little soul, you know. It's, I think it sounds great. Next one, Cannonball Adderley Quintet, another one on Capitol, 74 miles away. Um, like I said, it's a good album. Um, it's not a great album. Uh, always listenable. Um, you know, I won't turn it off or anything like that, but uh, uh, just not one I'm going to gravitate towards to pull off the rack all the time, you know? Uh, this one, um, very, very enjoyable, uh, but it's kind of orchestra esque. Uh, Bob Brookmeyer uh, did the orchestra. It says African Waltz, Cannonball Adderley and his orchestra on Riverside. Um, like I said, good, not great. Um, he's only got a couple albums that I would say are great. Uh, but uh, yeah, this one's very, very, very good. Um, I'm not a huge fan of orchestra with jazz sometimes, but uh, this one's not horrible. So yeah, check it out. Uh, let's see here. Doesn't really list any of the other players on there, so. And next one, we have a couple of uh, one of my favorite all-time groups, but uh, somehow their 70s stuff seems to always elude me. Actually, this one's from 69, but uh, this is Puzzle Piece by The Temptations. Um, probably the one of the main songs on here is uh, I Can't Get Next to You. Uh, they do a cover of Hey Jude. Uh, little Green Apples, have a cool picture all in, love that cover too, you know, the puzzle and everything, so that was very cool, and also we got Psychedelic Shack, also a very cool cover, not one you just see very often, um, I think Jeff Kempen showed this a while back, but this one's from uh, 1970. Uh, I'm gonna give you a listen on here. I'm gonna give you Psychedelic Shack, so uh, let me know what you think. 70s uh, Temptations. Next, I uh, hope you enjoyed that Temptations. Next we have Blue Mitchell, The Last Tangle equals Blues. Uh, this is on Mainstream. Kind of a, don't really see that label too often. Uh, later, no, uh, you know, later one from Blue Mitchell. It's okay. Um, not one of my favorite from him. Uh, still very enjoyable though. Uh, let's see. Charles Kennard on organ, Norman Riley. Not really like a whole lot of big names on here, but the musicianship is all good. Um, it's just, I don't know. I gotta listen to it again, to be honest with you. All right, 
right. And the next one, I'm always trying to complete my discography with this lady. Um, it's ongoing, obviously. Uh, this is Aretha Franklin's soul sister. Also, another one that uh, you know don't see very often. It's on Columbia. Uh, Until you were gone, you made me love you. Uh, cry like a baby. Uh, let's see here. Take a look. Yeah, uh, good stuff. Also, not my favorite from her, but uh, you know the queen of. Queen of Soul, man, she she can do no wrong. It's still a very enjoyable album. Um, next one, the great guitar player, Wes Montgomery. This is uh, just entitled So Much Guitar. On the Black Stereo Riverside label. Uh, who's on this with them? Um, Hank Jones on piano, Ron Carter on bass, Lex Humphreys, Ray Barreto on conga. Uh, I think I give you, I'm gonna play Repetition is the name of the track. It's the first song on side two. Uh, great guitar player. Love Wes Montgomery. Some of his stuff can get kind of elevator music-esque sometimes. Um, not sure why that is, but uh, I don't know if that's, you know, some guitar jazz is kind of like that sometimes, I guess. I don't know, maybe it's because you just grow up hearing it, you know, in the elevator and doctor's offices and stuff, but uh, this one is good. Um, I have another one of his albums, I can't think of the name right now, but it can get kind of like that. But anyways, uh, let me know what you think of this uh, track. Not too bad, right? Um, anyways, next we got uh, Pharaoh Sanders and Norman Connors. It's a 1981 release on Novus. Uh, looks like a division of Arista. This is uh, live. I think it's from the Montreux Jazz Festival, I believe. Um, it's okay. Uh, nothing, I think, that's going to blow your socks off. But uh, Pharaoh Sanders, obviously, always a great player. And uh, still very enjoyable. All right. Next one, hold on a second, is uh, I got one from Donald Bird. This is uh, one of his uh, later ones, um, kind of, you know, a little. Fusion-y, funk, this is Street Lady. I guess it's like that, but, you know, really, you should look at it like that. This is on the, uh, it's released in the 70s, The Black Bee. Um, yeah, just like most of the stuff uh, released by him in the 70s. Um, it's okay. Um, not my favorite by him. Obviously, I like his, uh, you know, early to mid-60s um, bop more than the... Uh, you know, fusion-y, uh, funk type, but, uh, you know, still very enjoyable. I'm getting more into it as, uh, you know, it grows on me, but... Like, this album, I couldn't believe I found this in the $3 uh, stack. It's just terrific. Um, I was so happy when I saw this in there. I, I don't know if they... I mean, they really just don't know a whole lot about jazz, I guess. Um, they had all the... Uh, you know, some, you know, or obscure soul music and stuff, and they always have Beatles and stuff in the uh, a more expensive area. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, Donald Byrd Mustang. Just a super nice copy. First stereo pressing, New York, USA. Um, Sonny Red, Hank Mobley, McCoy Tyner, Walter Booker, and Freddie Waits. I mean, awesome. 
This is Donald Byrd that I love. One of my favorites from him. Uh, I had heard it before. I didn't have a copy of it, but I just heard it online. And uh, really nice to have this now. All right, next, back to some soul music. Uh, this is O.V. Wright. I think this is one of his last albums that he did. Um, I believe this is one of the last albums he did. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a track off of here. Let me know what you think. This, uh, We're Still Together, just the title track. That's the name of the album as well. So let me know what you think. That's enjoyable, pretty good soul music. Um, next one is a couple more of the uh, those Japanese uh, reissues, Clifford Brown and string or with strings, I should say. Um, Max Roach on drums, George Morrow, Richie Powell, and uh, Barry Galbraith on guitar, who I'm really starting to get into. Very cool. Like I said, great recordings. Um, Love to get originals of these, but uh, yeah, these will hold me over for now for three bucks. Can't beat them. Another one, Clipper Brown Jam Session. Richie Powell and Junior Mance on piano. Uh, Ketter Betts, Max Roach, Dinah Washington even sings on here. So uh, yeah, very cool. Really enjoyed this one. I love jazz vocalists, so that was kind of cool. Dinah Washington sang this. Check that one out. But yeah, all good recordings. Those are, I looked on Discogs, really cheap. Next one, a Grant Green album I did not have. Uh, this one is on Cobblestone, which is like a division of Buddha. This is called uh, Iron City. It has uh, Big John Patton, Ben Dixon, and then, of course, Grant Green. the uh, cobblestone label. Uh, Morgan Grant Green is always consistent to me. Um, very good. Uh, jo you know, the organ jazz and guitar just always seems to go together. Um, some of it, you know, is okay, but uh, that one's very enjoyable. Um, I'm not always in the mood for organ jazz, but... Next, so back to some soul music. This is Odell Brown and the Organizers. Organizers. This is Mellow Yellow. I think this is their second album, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, second album. Uh, good, like soul jazz. Um, pretty enjoyable. It's on Cadet. I think it's their second album. Yep, second album. Uh, I think he played with like uh, Dorothy Ashby. Um, I think he played with uh, Marvin Gaye as well back in the day. Uh, but uh, yeah, very enjoyable. Um, give it a listen. I don't know why I didn't do a needle drop of that one. I should have. But I did do a needle drop of this next one. This is the uh, Junior Man's Trio at the Village Vanguard. It's on uh, Jazzland. Just a very nice uh, trio setting. Junior Mance, Larry Gales, and uh, Ben Riley from uh, 1961. Like I said, Village Vanguard. I think I'd give you, uh, on side two, the first song, Smoky Blues, I think. I think that's the one I did. So, check it out. Let me know what you think.
good. Next one is from uh, Mr. Blue Mitchell. Again, a later blue note, just like uh, the previous one. Um, not his best, but uh, still enjoyable jazz music. I don't really know what else to say about it. Uh, like I said earlier, anytime I find something from this artist or the impressions, I pick it up. I um, was not super familiar with this one. Uh, this is Curtis Mayfield. This is uh, Heartbeat. This is from uh, 1979. It's uh, Curtum. I'm trying to see as a uh, you know any of the hits on here. Between between you, baby, and me now. Like, I don't know. Can't remember what the hit song off here was, but if you guys know, let me know. All right, next one is uh, Mr. John Lucian Rashida. Uh, pretty cool. It's uh, got a Latin vibe to it. Um, jazz, soul. Um, I think I give you. I want to say the second or third song on side. So it's either Would You Believe in Me or Lady Love. I can't remember which one I give you on this, but uh, yeah, I enjoyed it actually. Um, the first song, Quenda, Quenda, I didn't really like. But uh, yeah, this song I actually did, so check it out. Lady love, you're sitting there with eyes that's so deep in mystery and lips as red as wine. Softer than a summer night when fireflies enjoy the gentle music from a stream. When I could feel you, all the tender things about you from way across the room. Alright, a couple more. Hey, thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, kind of a long video, but one I wanted to make. Um, the next one, I'd never seen this one before, um, but you see this label up in the corner and you're like, oh, this is, uh, I guess, the soundtrack or the score uh, for the movie Uptight, uh, done by Booker T and the MGs, so that obviously gets your uh, attention. Um, yeah, it's very good. I've never seen the movie. Um, it's only the last few years that Hollywood's begun to portray the black man with some semblance of dignity. Uptight is more than a breakthrough film, it's a historical event. Hmm. Yeah. Sounds like an interesting movie. Maybe someone's seen that before, but uh, yeah. Uh, Booker T, like I said, always consistent. Um, makes me really want to actually seek this movie out, but uh, yeah, very enjoyable. Next, this is not an original press. I almost, uh, you know stumbled this is an OG, OJC but uh, when I saw this sitting there I was like you know deer in the headlights type thing but uh, yeah this is an OJC repress Art Pepper meets the rhythm section so then I turned it over I saw the barcode I'm like oh but uh, for three bucks how can you beat it um, one of his greatest albums uh, Art Pepper Red Garland Paul Chambers and Philly Joe Jones I mean this thing in 1957 on this day they were cooking this album is terrific um, I'm always on the hunt for original art pepper but uh, yeah this is just a terrific terrific album you guys gotta listen to that one and last but certainly not least um, definitely you know I don't want to say grail um, you know people that throw around grail a lot but uh, this is one I've just really wanted for a long time and you know these can get kind of spendy and I didn't want to spend the money for it and here it was for three bucks so um, this is Dusty Springfield Dusty in Memphis just terrific obviously uh, everyone will know the hit song Son of a Preacher Man on here but uh, yeah I'm gonna give you a listen hopefully it doesn't get banned hopefully none of these songs get banned if they do then I just won't play them but uh, it'll kind of make the video weird but whatever so I'm going to give you just a little lovin' um, from this terrific, terrific album. So 
let me know what you guys think. All right. Just a little love early in the morning beats a cup of coffee for starting up the So that was uh, Dusty, Dusty Memphis. Terrific, terrific album. So happy to have that one finally. Um, yeah, that was it. Pretty big stack from that estate sale. I was pretty happy with my purchases for three bucks a piece. And uh, yeah, not too many jazz, uh, you know, at estate sales. Usually they're all like classic rock and stuff. So I was kind of shocked, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, with other people digging, who knows what they got. I'm sure they got some good stuff, too. That's always the hard part is what did I miss at those estate sales if I got those. I'm sure there was some more Blue Notes I missed or something if they had, you know, Donald Bird Mustang in there. So, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. And, uh, yeah, drop me a line down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, been watching all you guys' videos and everything. So, uh, take care.